I, I never mind you working me this hard as long as I get to stand next to championship trophies. And this one has to do with our bookstore basketball. It's 5 on 5 competition. And what's interesting is I have Alexandra and Rachel and Brock here with me to sort of explain what the donations are, where the charity goes to, because it is basically a charity event. And also the, guy, the guys and the gals that have won the bookstore competition. Keep in mind, it's faculty... That is correct. Basketball. So bookstore basketball is open to all Notre Dame students, faculty, staff. We also have some girls from St. Mary's play and some faculty, uh, staff, and students from Holy Cross play also. And um, like you said, we're the largest five-on-five -five outdoor collegiate basketball tournament. And we play so they can play. And the they in that statement is the kids in Haiti and Jamaica at the jump ball basketball program, which bookstore basketball supports. And we've been supporting supporting them since the early 90s. When you get an idea, when she says the basketball program, there's 700 teams, that, there I am, I'm back here. There's 700 teams that compete. 700 teams compete in it, and it's all Notre Dame. It's not like there are people coming from different parts of the country, it's amazing. When I lived in Walsh Hall, the bookstore competition was right next to, the basketball court was right under my window. So I saw an awful lot of great basketball players play. The is there a fee to play in this? Is that How is the money raised? Go ahead. So the fee for the tournament registration, that goes towards the jump ball program. So in the 70s when bookstore started, it was free to all students. And then since jump ball was founded in Jamaica, we've been charging a team registration fee. And all of that money, all the proceeds from the tournament get donated to the jump, the jump ball basketball program. And Father Monk Malloy was actually the one who started the, uh, yep, the and jump Digger program. Right? And Digger. Well, of course, Digger would start it. Digger would take claim for everything and anything that happened in the world of basketball at the University of Notre Dame. Really surprising to a lot of people. There wasn't basketball at Notre Dame before Digger Phelps got here, and we're so blessed and lucky to have him done it. I love you, Dig. I really do. Do you play? Are you on a team? Yeah. We're Are you both on teams? What's the team that you're on? Uh, my team was called Entertainment 720. <laughs> okay. And, um, now, I I, well, stop right there. Before you go any further, how would you come up with that name? Um, it's a Parks and Rec joke, but um, oh, okay. my friends. And I know I... Parks and Recs. I actually watch the show. <laughs> okay. Um, so my team was co-ed, and we played in the open tournament. Only made it one round. Got defeated by the seminarians, but it was a lot of fun. How about you, Brock? Um, yeah, I actually played on two teams. I played with uh, just a team of my my friends in Fisher. Uh, we didn't make it too far. But Did you have I... a name? Our what, team the name, Fisher guys? Our team name was the Gray Geese. There was no, no really no, Okay, no all right. That made that. a lot of sense. Um, and then we, I also <laughs> played on the uh, Notre Dame water polo team. So with some of the guys I play with, uh, Club played Water Polo. Played basketball from the, water, the yeah. water polo. So I played on Club Water Polo, and a couple of us got together and uh, made a team. And we actually made it to the round of 64. So okay, they're cool. telling me to wrap it up, but we have to figure out who won. Vinny's Next Door won. They won, they won the open tournament and, and the ladies? Roll Tribe won the women's tournament. Well, congratulations to our bookstore basketball team.